All right, what's happening, my friends? Today, I will be reviewing my favorite armor plates. And though I love them, I am vowed to destroy them today. And so we're gonna be shooting them with all kinds of stuff. Shotgun, which, man, the shotgun. Here, let, let's sneak peek, boom, shotgun. Shotgun jacked these things up. We shot them with uh, 55 grain, 5.56 rounds, also with green tip and uh, nine mil. We're gonna hit this plate with everything today. Then we're gonna push it to failure and you will see this plate that I love very much uh, fail. There's other plates out there that can stop more stuff. There's other plates that are less expensive. There's other plates that do different things better. The problem with uh, selecting any armor plate is nothing does everything awesome. There's three things I want out of an armor plate. One, I want it to be able to stop a full blast from the Death Star. So it can stop anything. Two is it's light as a feather. And three, it costs like nothing. It's almost free or free. That'd be great. I want those three things. Now, technology doesn't allow me to have that right now. And so as it stands, there's a trade-off for everything. What I maximize isn't necessarily what you would maximize. And what I want to do is I want to real quickly, guys, we're going to be shooting stuff, having fun, being on the range. But let me very quickly make all the nerds like me out there very happy. And I'm going to give you my, my nerdy graph right here. And what you're looking at right now is it's kind of like my own little post-it note that's helping me gather data and evaluate it to figure out what is best out out there for what I want to accomplish. And so what I want is I want a multi-curve plate. And you'll see some of the things on here are green, yellow, and uh, red. Red is uh, bad for me, green is good for me. And so really I want a multi-curve plate. I want it to be very, very light. I'd like it to be inexpensive. I also want it thin and I want it to be able to stop my most common threats I'm seeing out there. Now what most common threat is for you is gonna differ on context. If you're a military warfighter overseas, then what is the projectile being sent downrange by the enemy and is it going to be even able to stop your own munitions which is an important consideration so if i was a soldier overseas i would like it to be able to do stop green tip but if i'm a civilian or i'm in a law enforcement context i don't really care as much about green tip i just care about light and close to me reason why i've got a buddy who is uh, over the training department for our local pd for 18 years of catching bad guys working on their swat team he has never encountered a bad guy that had green tip ammunition green tip is a mild steel penetrating core so it's uh, not quite armor piercing, but it's kind of armor piercing and it'll go through uh, some stuff, not level four, some level three plus special threat purpose plates will be able to stop the green tip. These PA plates that I really like do not stop the green tip. And some people just, that's a big hill for you to die on. You really, really, really want to stop green tip, which means it's going to be thicker and heavier and that's fine. Uh, I direct you to our Deridium GT2 plates, which are the same cost of these PA plates that I'm reviewing today. Really Really love them, a fantastic alternative. It's going to be a little bit heavier and that's about it. Amazing plate, I'd rather have the weight savings. But as you see me just kind of have this little debate and get a little bit nerdier than many of you wanted to get today, I am calling your attention to, you, you gotta understand what you would like to accomplish, which may not be the same for me. And so my little chart can be a little bit of a starting point uh, for you. But enough talky talk stuff, let's go shoot something, right? Destroy something beautiful and expensive. I actually don't want to destroy my plate. I like them a lot. All right, I'm going to start hitting the plate from high to low, and we'll start with a 9mm. I'm shooting Fiocchi 115 grain FMJ. So at the very top. I was really proud of how we propped this up, and I'm like, that's going nowhere, and then it totally went somewhere. All right, so... You definitely had some de uh, deformation uh, right there. No pass through and that's what you really care about. And there's where the round went in right there. Cool, let's do another. All right, this is a Winchester Slug, two and three quarter Super X. I'm gonna get a little closer. All right, here we go. Holy smokes. Boom! Holy smokes. That deformation right there, that's gonna hurt. No pass through, but dude, that's gonna be like, 
getting hit. You see the inside material right there flexing to absorb that. Pretty cool. All right, let's drop down right there. You see the entry right there? Again, no pass through, but that right there, that could jack you up hardcore. Hey, uh, side note, kids, don't get shot uh, point blank with a slug to the chest. I'm interested to see what the 6.5 Creedmoor does because, I mean, that, that round is screaming super duper fast. Let's do uh, uh, some 223. This is by Fiocchi, and this is their uh, uh, 55 grain ball. I was a tiny bit lower than the center. Ah, oh, and I didn't hold my offset. What is this, amateur hour, John? Yeah. So down low, no pass through on that. And hitting you low in the gut right there, that's gonna be like getting punched in the stomach. Uh, but just no pass through at all right there. And there's the entry right there. Let me shoot it a few more times with this uh, 55 grain. All right, and if it'll just behave and not uh, fall down. Use a little side-by-side -side support. Going hot. I'm gonna hit it real low again. That's a total of five rounds. Let's see how we did there. So all around the same area, one, two, three, four, five. Looks like, I don't know whether that's the crack. I think that's just the crack of this material reaching its limit and not stretching. Or you may have had a little bit of a pass through. I don't see any break in this. And the fact it was all in the same area it is possible we got passed through. I don't know whether it's just uh, all five. I don't know whether we got any pass through or if the material just broke as it was getting stretched. Right here didn't stretch because it gave right there, but imagine if that didn't give right there, this material when it pulls out, is it cracking because it's being stretched? I bet that's what happened because it did not give right there like that one did. Uh, I don't think we had pass through on that because this right here is not broken. But we're definitely gonna pass through with green tip. But uh, let, let's do the 6.5 Creedmoor first and I'm gonna go a little high. All right, I'm gonna use the side by side again. Going hot. So 6.5 Creedmoor, it's a skinnier round. It's a smaller round than something like the 308, which it's replacing across SOCOM for long range precision stuff. It is screaming very fast. And it's a smaller round, which means I think it's pretty hard to stop. We have no pass through right there, but you saw the deformation that's going on right there. Very good, that could break a rib, but you'll live. Yep, and there's our entry wound. All right, what do you say we uh, lay her to rest with some green tip? She will not hold green tip. I'm gonna have to go to a bigger plate, something beefier. This is uh, two pounds and some change. No chance. Hey, am I cut right here? Hold it. Yep. Yeah. Is that from that shotgun? Maybe. Yeah. Looks good. Does it? Makes it look hard. That's nice. All right, here we go. Green tip. I'm gonna kind of put it over in the side where it's a little cleaner. Now I'm gonna go the other side. I'm gonna go dead so right, That's three green tip. I went right side, left side, center. All right, there's the entry on the right, entry on the left, entry on the center. 
There's a pass through on the left side right there. And here's pass through for one of the rounds. Look, yeah, you can see it going straight through there. This will not stop. Green tip. And there's uh, exit wound for the middle. So this one, though, it went in a little bit over here. It kind of diverted in another inch and came out here. So, yep. Yeah, uh, three green tip shots, three pass-throughs. If you get shot with green tip with this, you will die. The Duridium PA Level 3 Plus plates. Obviously, it's Level 3 protection and then some, Level 3 Plus. It's a thin plate that weighs 2.7 pounds. That is extremely light, and it's multi-curve. And so I really, really like that plate a lot. Guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down for the algorithm because Big Tech hates us and will eventually shut us all down. You should totally go to watch WPSN, download our app where we have binge-worthy shows, variety shows, and all of our back up YouTube content like uh, Rifle, Pistol Class, Classes, all kinds of cool training classes. I really wished I could have said that all in one breath, but I failed you. I failed you all. Guys, make sure you also check out our website in case you're in the market. Really appreciate the support. You guys are awesome. And uh, train hard, train smart. Stay free. I have big plans for the network. Woo! This is nerve-wracking. Wunderbar, 100% success rate. All kinds of different shows. Let's go! It happens up close. Usually, you're grabbed. Never quitting, giving everything you have. It's not just entertainment. Level. It's literally world-changing, worldview philosophy.